Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I told y'all this would happen. I tried to tell y'all. Y'all said I was being harsh on Chloe Bailey. And who's a baby Tate? I told y'all. Y'all need to stop co-signing these, these chicks on, on TikTok who are trying to base, they're making fun of black women. They're, they're trying to act like, it's, I'm not going to say they're appropriating black women because I'm a black woman. I don't look like that. I don't dress like that. I don't get down like that. But they're trying to mimic black culture. Well, because y'all can't stop supporting foolishness, child. Brit Barbie done had a meet and greet. Go ahead and show. Here she is with her pink lashes, honey. Y'all pull up to my meet and greet tomorrow at the Vibe SZN in St. Louis. It's free. Come take a picture with me, period. Uh, do not come if you're not in a period uh, mood because you're not going to ruin my vibe. Period. Uh. Y'all pull up. Child, y'all got her feeling herself. But the funny part is people pulled up. Oh, they came. One and all. Look at all them black kids. Oh, God, I can't take the screaming. But now th th it gets even worse. Bag secure, period. They hating, they mad, they furious. This dress from Fashion Nova, just in case you curious. This bag is serious. The math, the furious. The painters are hearing it. The check. Okay. All right, ma'am. All right, sis. We see you with your fashion overdress on and your pink fur. Y'all made her famous, not me. I try to tell y'all. I see y'all stay making these girls famous just like Bad Baby. Now she's a triple millionaire and all this other nonsense. Same thing with her. Now she got a music career. Meanwhile, you got black kids who've been in the studio for years. Working on their craft, writing their music. You know, and they'll never get that type of support. And it's sad because we make goofy people like that, you know, famous. And again, I don't know how old this woman is. I'm assuming she's between the ages of 18 and 20. I've tried to Google her age. Everything says between the ages of 18 and 20. So she's young. So I, I'm not trying to drag her or, or disrespect her because to me, she's young enough to be my kid. But what is bothersome is just, you know, the fact like, She's trying to mimic what she thinks a black woman is. And as a black woman, I've never walked around with pink lashes. These are my real nails. I don't do fake nails. They're long, but they're my real nails. Um, I, I just don't like it. I don't like how it's okay to be a caricature of what people think a black woman is. But then as a real black woman, I still get silence. I get cussed out. I get drugged. Just simply having an opinion, simply existing, you know. So I just, it, it's very, it's you know, it's just, it's frustrating, you know. And it's just like, if that was a black TikToker who came out and was like, period, ah, eh, period, whatever the hell, the, however the hell the damn song goes, the one that made her viral, no one would have paid her no mind. She'd still be on TikTok with probably ten followers. Nobody would have paid her no mind. But it's like, as soon as you put something ratchet or ghetto on other races, for some reason, it just mystifies people, especially black folks. For some reason, we just get mystified by it. And I don't get it. That's why I didn't understand, like, you know, why would Chloe, somebody who's very talented, beautiful, can sing, why even get on, why even 
entertain it. And I know a lot of Chloe fans are like, oh, T, you're being mean. She's young. She's in her 20s. She's just trying to jump on a trend. At what point are we just going to hold people accountable? Everything that trends don't mean that we got to support it or jump on it. You know what I'm saying? Because when she jumped on it, she gave her a major cosign. Imagine the girl who worked with Beyonce. Y'all forget, Chloe and, and, and Holly, they were tied to Beyonce. She's doing a duet with me. Of course she's feeling herself. I would be. I'd be walking around here in a pink fur coat too. Tell my period, ah, period of who, period what, period you. I don't know how the hell that shit goes. I'd be feeling myself. It's somebody as prestigious as Chloe Bailey did that. That's what I'm saying. You got to watch where we put our energy. And I, I have the right to hold her accountable because there's a lot of little black girls that I see all the time that come by my TikTok timeline who sing. They sing their heart out. They're always singing. I don't see other people duetting with them. That's all I'm saying. Be careful where y'all put y'all's energy. Because now she's, she's the next up and coming star. And like I said, no hate. If people are dumb enough to, you know, buy your, you know, period uh, album, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's of all the 10 seconds. That's on them. You know, so I'm not saying that she shouldn't be able to capitalize off of this or get a bag, you know. But again, like I keep telling y'all, the new currency is likes. Hearts, retweets, wherever y'all put y'all attention is where that attention is going to go. And sadly, it's people like that who are able to monetize off of it. Because like I said, if that was a young black girl behaving in that behavior, she'd just be drugged. Nobody would even entertain it at all. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.